Ah, well, looks like a storm's abroad, but I got some shelter. Ooh, man. There's a house right there, I'll see. You know, I got some shelter in the storm. I mean, stuff, most people don't secure their places anyways. I, I can just walk in. Oh, this looks nice. This is a nice place. We'll see if they lock it or not. Oh, lucky me. Shelter from the storm. There's some nice stuff. Maybe I'll just uh, rob them blind while I'm at it too. I mean, hey, it's their fault for not remembering their key or locking their door. Woo. There's some good stuff. We got snowboards, we got foosball. Oh, I'm, I'm set. I'm set. Is this you? Are you tired of ruffians and vagrants breaking into your home? Are you tired of your roommates leaving their keys behind and keeping your door unlocked all the time? Well, boy, do I have the solution for you. Introducing the Dance Dance Revolution High Security Doormat System. With keyless entry, you never have to remember a key again. All right, I'm, I'm ready to get in my house, but oh no, oh no, I can't get in. It's locked. A good thing I have the Dance Dance Revolution doormat security system. I'm going to go ahead and do the code. Uh, center, up, up, down, down, right. And that is going to unlock our deadbolt of the door. Oh my goodness. Yeah. And now I can get in the house. Oh, hello. Hi, how are you guys doing in there? How are we doing? Well, you know, it's great seeing you guys, but you know, I gotta head out. So on my way out, I gotta head out, you guys. It was great having you. But before I leave, let me make sure I lock the door. Let me make sure I lock the door. So I'm gonna close the door a little bit here. And to lock the door, I can just press any set of combination. And you can see the door locks. And I'm safe to go out to the front now. I'll see you guys next time. Okay, so this is our more detailed demonstration of how our mat works. So um, recently we've added some code to add more user feedback so that you can see when the buttons are being pressed. So to start the code, I'm gonna go ahead and press center once again. You're gonna see the blue light comes on and it stays on. However, um, we wanted people to know when they're pressing a button because sometimes the demand to lay on the buttons can be a tad bit finicky. So we made it so that as you're holding down a button, the light is gonna turn on. And then when you release it, the light is gonna turn back on. So that way, by the flashing lights, I get to tell that I'm entering the right code. From there, when the code, right code is entered, that green light is gonna come on to show us that the door is currently unlocking. Now, once the door is finished unlocking, we're gonna show our new method for lock, relocking the door, which is pretty simple. We just have it hard-coded so that if you press center twice, the door will lock itself once again. As well for an added security measure, we at made it so that no matter if you enter the wrong code, it will keep, let you, keep letting you enter the wrong code. So the currently correct code is up, up, down, down, right. I'm gonna go up, left, 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 left. And it doesn't tell me that the code was wrong until the end, so that way you can't brute force the code by spamming buttons repeatedly. All right. And also when this thing moves, it moves all the way over first to lock or unlock it, and then it moves back to a neutral position to get ready to, to relock it. So that's why it goes all the way over and then partially back. So the buttons are made out of two steel plates, kind of like these ones, um, held apart with high strength wood. The elasticity of the steel will act as a spring. And then we have two wires soldered to each of the plates, one to the top, one to the bottom and uh, strain relief with advanced uh, rubber polymers. That's what it is. Yeah. So here's the button right here. You can see they're all just glued under, uh, to be under where we marked on the mat. And you just step down and it contacts. And then you got the two wires soldered here and here. So the code works on three main functions and one main loop. The first function is the read button function. This function uh, takes in an input from any of the buttons on the path. Basically, um, it will it read which buttons are currently being pressed. And um, as long as, once they are finished being held, it will return a string that corresponds to the button press. So center is C, up is U, D, down is D. And the ne next two uh, functions are the correct press button and the step or go to function. The correct press button um, determines whether the most recently pressed button matches the button um, that it was supposed to be in the correct pattern. 
Um, from there, it will um, edit a global Boolean if it wasn't the correct button to tell the code the current input is false. Um, then the step or go to function um, uh, is something that we've done in a previous assignment that just moves the stepper to the correct position to unlock or, un lock or unlock the house. And from there, we get into our main loop, um, which will use our, previously, uh, our previous uh, button input function, and um, it'll run that until the amount of inputs it has equals the total length of the correct code. And then from there, it will determine whether the code was right, the code was wrong, um, and then as well, it will check a global Boolean on whether the door is currently locked or unlocked. Um, from there, it goes into the decision-making part where if the correct sequence was true, um, then it will unlock the door. Um, if it was false and the door is all currently unlocked, then it will lock the door. And if it was, uh, um, if it's false and the door is already locked, then it won't do anything. Um, except for turn the light red so that you know it was the wrong color.